Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First is only God in Burlington, Kansas. I hope you're having a great Thursday. Uh, it is the 20th of July. I almost forgot what month it was, but uh, I know it's early this morning. Well, my daughter and I are getting ready for a, a bike ride this morning, so uh, so I wanted to get this out. Remember, this is the last devotion video for this week, but I want to encourage that you keep on getting in the Word throughout the weekend, and if you live in Coffee County, I'd love to invite you to a service at First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas, at for, uh, on the corner of 9th and Yuba, service starts at 10.30, and uh, it's we're, we're finishing our series called Divine Direction, it's going to be an awesome time. Alright, so verse this morning is 1 Corinthians 13.1, if I speak with the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love... I am a, re, I am a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. This is pretty a, uh, pretty interesting verse. For the simple fact that you can you can speak really great and and audible and and but if you don't have love, you're just a big bunch of noise. I mean, there is so many times that people say one thing and act totally different. You met anyone like that? They say they love you, but then they talk behind your back, or they, uh, the very fact is, they, we call it two-faced, you know, um, if I speak in tongues of men or angels, but do not have, I'm just a bunch of noise. If I don't have these things, if I don't have love, because God is love, the very fact is, Having God in my life, I'm supposed to reflect Christ. We are supposed to reflect Christ. That means we have to love love. Uh, so, love it isn't always like, a, I'm going to hug you, man. It's it's really the fact is that love is, is a respect, you know. Things go wrong, things, people say nasty things to you. But there's a fact there has to be love. You know, 1 Corinthians 13, this is the love chapter that says love is patient, love is kind, love is... And you, you can go through the whole thing. But basically this verse comes out of this. If you don't have love, you're just a bunch of noise. <laughs> I don't want to be a bunch of noise. How about you? Uh, the very fact is we need to have love. Well, let's talk about our Christian walk. There are those people that says, oh, I'm a Christian. But don't show it. Don't go to church. Don't do anything. Um, or they don't, or they say, hey, I go to church, but don't act like it outside. You know, there's those people too. But we call those hypocrites, right? And so the very fact is we should not be a bunch of noise. So let me encourage you today. Today is uh, Thursday, so... 1 Corinthians 13, 1 is the verse that we studied. Get out your notebook. I have mine. Uh, and it, the verses that you need to write out is, If I speak in tongues of angels, or of tongues of men, or of angels, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong, or a clanging cymbal. Put an O next, observe it, A, apply it to your life, and then pray. That's the P. It spells out so. And... Well, I'm going to pray for you. If you have prayer requests, message them to me if you're on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, um, email them to me at bfirstag at yahoo.com. I'll add them to my prayer list daily and uh, just continue to be praying for them. So, again, if you're in Coffee County or Burlington and you don't have a church, come and join us on Sunday morning for services at 1030. Love to have you. <clears throat> well, let me pray for you today. Lord, I thank you so much for the privilege and honor that we get to serve you. Help us not to be a clanging cymbal or a, uh, a loud noise, Lord. Help us to love you with all our heart, mind, and soul. Lord, I pray that you bless every person that's watching now who will watch later. Encourage their heart today, Lord. Lord, give them a great weekend. Bring them to church on Sunday if they, they don't have already have a church. But Lord God, I also pray that you just give them a great weekend. But if not, Lord... We'll come back together on Monday morning and study some more scripture. Lord bless it, my friends, Lord, in your name. Amen.
Hey, have a great, great Thursday. Love you guys. Have an awesome Thursday. We'll see you hopefully Sunday. If not Sunday, we'll see you Monday. God bless you.